Hello everyone, this is Tailspin109, and welcome back to Let's Play Baby Kaizo World! Another level down, and there's two more to go. Next is Fuzzy Nation, so we're gonna be dealing with a lot of fuzzies. Lots of spin jumping is gonna be coming up. <gasps> Ow! What did I just say? A lot of spin jumping, and then I jump. Oh, shoot! No! This is a... This is a random take on the Ultra Star level format, isn't it? I was not expecting a level like this. Ow. Well, this is bound to be something special. Okay, no, I can't make that in one swoop like that. Oh, I can, actually. Not a very good idea, though. Hmm. All right. Time to figure out the timing. Okay. I'm not sure if that was exactly the intended way to do it. Uh, it did get me in, though. <gasps> ah! Darn it. Alright, this is somewhat interesting, though. I give credit. There's more time to give you your surroundings than the Yoshi level, that's for sure. I still do not like that Yoshi level. I will never forget the suffering that level gave me. Oh, shoot! I wonder how long this will take. <gasps> okay! Oh! <laughs> Why do I not prepare for the trolls? <laughs> Shouldn't I be used to this by now? But hey, this is a very short level. We should be able to get through this in no time. I mean, it only took th about three minutes to even make it to the end, so... Okay, but... <laughs> oh my gosh, why did I not prepare? I should have immediately been suspicious of the different tile set. And yet I didn't think anything of it. Ah! Okay, it's not that hard of a stage, and thankfully, it's really short. Like, this is one of the shortest levels in the game, I think. Oh, cool timing. Ah, okay, okay. I got this. We're going to be going to the castle this video for sure. Oh, oh my gosh. Uh, the curse of spin jumping on moving things. When you try to spin jump off, but somehow the timing of which you press the spin jump button only gets you up the tiniest bit. Ah, uh, I got royally screwed over there. Royally screwed. Ah. Uh. It all happens to us at one point or another. Don't deny it. If any of you Kaizo experts are watching this, I'm sure you can attest. That happens to all of us at least once every now and then. Ah! I couldn't get off of him properly. Okay. There we go. Okay. That level was pretty simple, actually. And that's it. There's one level left. I am scared. I am scared. The baby finale. This is the legitimate end of the hack. Oh my gosh. W what's in store? Okay. Calm down. 
Tails, may you give me a hug, please? <laughs> Thank you, I feel better now. Okay. Be with your big brother. <laughs> Tails is so darn cute, I love him. Anyways, final level! <gasps> hey, hey, what does that say? It says something stupid, I'm sure. Baby reached the hardest level. Baby has no chance to beat this. Baby will never win. Thanks for believing in me. It's not gonna come back! <laughs> Perfect. Okay, then. <laughs> Man, this should be fun. This should be a lot of fun! Now, I'm sure there's gonna be a checkpoint at the end of this, just because there has to be a boss fight at the end of this. And it'll be very cool to not have a checkpoint for a boss. Come on, I know that even the hardest of Kaizo hacks generally give you a checkpoint right before the boss. If not, then it's just too cruel. Even for Kaizo standards. Ah, can't believe I did that. Okay, okay, I've referenced that one too many times. I'm sorry. Can I beat this in this video? Oh my gosh, gay hitting that saw blade is actually really hard. I mean, duh, it's the final level. It, everything's supposed to be hard. But somehow I don't think this is going to be as bad as the Yoshi level, because... That Yoshi level was really something else. A true standout in absurdist difficulty for this hack. Okay. Oh, gosh, why? Why? Why are we doing that? How did I touch that? What? I didn't touch it! Every jump here is a spin jump, let's face it. What? Also, we're gonna have to go back and forth on a saw blade. Joy! I did not expect to have to do that. Okay, maybe it won't be too bad, hopefully not. Oh, man. I turned around too soon. We'll probably make this video as long as it has to be to get through this, because I, I imagine I can do this. But still, these jumps are pretty tight. <laughs> well, I could have done better there. Oh, wow. Look at that. I didn't have to do a high jump there. Nice! Okay, it didn't work that time. I don't know why. Let's go! Ah! Well, the level is hard. I'll give it that. It's definitely harder than the base final castle, for sure. That castle was actually pretty easy. This, not so much. I actually wanted to jump a little higher there. Ah! 
There we go. I don't like that part, honestly. It's it's hard to gauge when to move and how to move. I can't believe I jumped that high. Does this kind of thing look fun to you guys? Would you guys ever try Kaizo? Would you guys also be sure not to hit the side of spikes? Because it is surprisingly easy to do. No, I, I hit right. I hit right. I didn't see myself budge an inch there. That, that was an unusual display of delay. Oh my gosh. It's not the worst experience with ball chains I've ever had. I still remember the cramped up space level in Learn to Kaizo. That level was annoying and I really don't feel like I learned anything in that one. It feels like I just got through honestly by sheer luck. Oh wow. Oh wow. Come on, we can make this. This is the last level. I'm going to complete my baby steps into the world of Kaizo. If I could ever just get through that part though. That part is pretty sadistic. I mean, the rest of this I'd say is pretty manageable so far, but that part is just... That's just mean to expect you to have to do that. And the sides of spikes. I can't believe how big the hitboxes for spikes are in Mario World. It's not really something you notice in the base game, because the way they're designed, you never really have to worry about it. Ugh. Okay, I, I need to move a little faster if I'm gonna do it that way. Did I spin jump for too long or something there? Like, why why couldn't I get off the ground? Wee! I don't know how I missed that. It's not even moving that fast. I don't even know how I jumped that high. I wasn't holding the spin jump button for that long. Yeah, okay, this level is bound to give me a few issues. Ah, come on! I jumped way too high there. Oh man! Oh. Seriously, you, you can't touch the side of it. It has to be more centered. Ah, I, I sometimes hate hitboxes. <gasps> oh, man, I did that too early. I did that too early. But that's the first time I got through that, which means there is hope. There is hope yet. What was I even doing there? <laughs> I mean, this is definitely one of the horror levels of the special world, that's for sure. At least it's not quite as annoying as the Yoshi level, but... This can get on your nerves a lot faster than, say, the mole level, in my opinion. What? 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 I was moving left. The game clearly knew that. It just didn't want me to get through. The game has a mind of its own. No! 
No! Is that a disco shell? That's a disco shell. So we're gonna have to do a little disco shell action, I see. Alright. I could probably handle that. It's not the worst thing in the world. It's not a double shell jump, at least. Oh, I hit the spike? Really? How'd I hit the spike? No, if I just sponge up higher a little earlier, I would have given myself enough time to evade that. I like spin jumping higher. It gives me time to orient myself. Ugh. Why didn't I spin jump higher? What is wrong with me? Uh, huh, huh. Why is it so hard to do that? It's so hard to do it on a saw blade. Just spin jump higher at the proper moment. It, it just is. There's no way to explain it. It's just because. No, 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 I went too fast too early. No! I want to make it so badly. I want to see that checkpoint. I want to get to that last boss. I want to see the end. Oh, you screwed me over the last second, you jip. So hard to get the momentum needed to reach that platform. Oh my gosh, I don't like that part. I was so surprised that I lived that I messed up the spikes. Why did I jump so high that time? Ah. Uh. This level will scramble your brain worse than scrambled egg zone. Although granted a lot of things in this hack are much more devious than scrambled eggs. Wait. Wait, what Sonic gave a scrambled egg zone again? Was that Sonic Advance? I thought I was referring to the first Sonic, but no, that's Scrap Brain. Where where did scrambled I think it was Sonic Advance. Zone 6. Uh, I remember that boss being a pretty tricky one. And forget the first act is trying to get into the darn place with a time limit. Thankfully, Tails makes that so much easier because his flying ability is awesome because he is a wonderful little guy and I love him. Turn every conversation into something about praising Tails. Yes! deserves it. It looks like he's going to be real good in the movie, and they're also making sure to remember he's still a kid. I saw him fainting that one part of the trailer. I thought that was very cute and sensical considering how scary that guy looked with a knife. He doesn't want to get stabbed with a knife. <laughs> no siree. He doesn't even want to watch people get stabbed by knives because he doesn't like horror movies. I do, but... Whether that's me. He doesn't have to like him. Anytime he does see a horror movie, he ends up curling up next to Sonic for the night. Oh my gosh. Oh! I always do that with these platforms! I never expect them to fall so slowly. I do that so many times. I never learn. I just keep expecting- Oh, it's going to drop! Better get moving! But no! I have to wait a second! And I'm really bad at that! Anyways, that's going to be the first jump that is not a spin jump in this, so... Be prepared. Okay. THERE'S NO CHECKPOINT, WHAT?! Wait a minute, that's- that's actually- that's actually mean! What the heck? You mean, if I die on the boss, I'm gonna be sent back? You're joking! Hold it! I- 
I thought for sure you'd at least get a checkpoint. This is the first I've seen not getting a checkpoint before the boss. I've watched a few Kaizo hacks, mostly just Cook. I, I like watching him. I think he's fun to watch. I, I don't go on like Twitch and such. I I'm just subscribed to his YouTube channel, but really, no checkpoint. I mean, it's not that long, but still, to have to do all this every time I die to the boss? Oh, I hope the boss isn't that devious. It probably will be, because it's the boss of the special world, but... I'm just... I'm just shocked. No checkpoint? Maybe they'll give me one after going through the door. I don't know. Maybe. I hope. I really hope. Because if not, I'm sorry, that's taking it a step too far in my opinion. And it shocked me so much that I think I am slightly losing control, so... I need to regain a little composure. I'm just gonna quiet down for a minute and re recollect myself. Okay, I can do this. Darn it. I mean, if I've noticed something about the other boss battles, it's that when you die, you don't spawn at the checkpoint, you spawn in the boss room, so... Just maybe, it'll keep me there. If it doesn't, what the heck is wrong with this game? <sighs> well, let's find out. Why? I'm too flustered to get through that part now. I can barely even recollect myself because I have to keep moving. Oh my gosh. I did it again. I wonder what the boss even is going to be. Ugh! I hate it when I mess that up so much. It's messing up there that really gets me upset, even more than the part after that. Also, what is this music? It is very dramatic. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Come on. Stop it. Stop it. Oh. Just let me get there. I need to see the end now. Because I am actually a little concerned. Why do I keep making that mistake? Oh my gosh, it is so frustrating. Shoot. I'm starting to actually get angry. And all because I didn't see a checkpoint at the boss door. Oh my! Just let me in! Help me? Help me! I hate being flustered so much. No! 
Oh, I, I just want to see if anything gets saved upon reaching the boss room. Just give me that, please. No, you stupid disco shell. Why did you go that far? Now I have to do this again. But again... I am grateful that this is at least short. All the same though, I don't want to go through this once I'm at the boss. So again, just let me know. Is there going to be any kind of checkpoint past the door? That's all I want to know. <laughs> no, but I'm not going to figure it out if you keep making me make mistakes. Because if there isn't, I'm actually going to be really upset. Because I honestly think that is taking him too far if you strip a checkpoint before the boss. Because, of course, you're bound to die a few times during the boss. Nobody wants to go through the stage again by the time they make it, though. And I'm sick of dying right now. Just, just get me there. Oh! Why? 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 Please, please. I'm desperate right now. I'm desperate! Heaven's sakes, just, just get me through, please. I'm begging you. Of course I won't make it. I'm not going to be allowed to make it again. Because I won't ever be allowed to see the boss and to see if there's a checkpoint. Ugh. I'm just going to shut up right now, okay? I want to see if I can make it. I can't. I don't know. Believe in myself. Believe in myself. Ah, oh, and I even pushed left to start slowing down. Seriously, why spikes? Why spikes? Whoa, I didn't expect to be alive. How did that not make it? I'm utterly confused. How did that not make it? No, no! Oh, he slid right into it! He slid into it! Why did he slide into it? And stop hitting the spikes! Look, I'm angry right now, so I need to get there before I start exploding. And to think, I wouldn't be so angry if I just saw a checkpoint. It's weird how that one thing is really mentally messing with me. Look, that's the end right there. I don't want to turn this into two videos. I'm going to see if I can just keep this going. See how long it takes. If it gets really long, I'll split in two, but I'm finishing this today. You're not supposed to do that.
on. No, how? How? It didn't even look like I was moving faster than it. Please. Please! If I tap it for the same amount, I'm not supposed to jump higher. That shouldn't be how it works. Oh. My. Gosh. This is- this is just getting annoying now. Cause it's getting very repetitious. Very repetitious. Just let me see it. No! Stop it! Stop! Stop it! You are being a very bad baby right now, Mario. You are being a very bad baby. Do you need to have castor oil? Do ya? Will that teach you to behave? Oh my gosh! Maybe he does need castor oil. Maybe that'll teach him to stop messing up. I don't even understand what I'm doing wrong. It just decides that I have to go too far off. Oh. And again it did it! Look, it's getting kind of old now. Can I please just make it? Oh. That's not what I meant! Heaven sakes, someone please help me. I didn't even touch it. <sighs> I can't do this forever. I hate that part so flippin' much! Why? Oh, you jerk! Jerk, 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 you are a jerk. No, I touched the spike! How? And why does it even have to be there? What? Now it's just making up its own rules and mechanics and physics! I'm not having fun right now. It's actually getting too annoying to be fun. I don't like this part. <gasps> what happened? That's not fun. You know what will be fun? Seeing the stupid boss. That would be fun. I didn't do anything different there. I swear. What? You were fine with it earlier. I swear your hitbox makes no sense. It was fun until I saw there was no checkpoint. That just really messed up everything. Why? How did that happen? How? I, I dare you. How? I, I, I want invincibility. I want invincibility.
This is this is annoying. My favorite of these special world levels had to have been the mole level. This this one's just getting on my nerves. Not in the same way as the Yoshi level, but I still hate it right now. Oh, finally. I hate you! I legitimately hate you! What button did I hit? I hit something different. I don't know what I was doing. I don't know what I was doing. I think I'm going to cry at some point. This is getting so obnoxious. Nope, of course not, of course not, of course not. Help! Help! Please! What the heck? Just let me see! I feel like safe saying just to get there and see if there's a checkpoint. Cause I, I'm getting too flustered now. I can't keep doing this. No, you did it again! You did it again! You weren't doing that the first few times I got there, so why do you keep doing it now? Work with me here. Look, I want to play through your hack to the end, but to do that, you have to at least let me get through at some point. Not like that. This can't be healthy for me right now. Oh shoot. Ugh. I might need to try and just wait on the disco shell a while there. I was moving too slow apparently, you guys. I was moving too slow apparently. It's been almost 40 minutes of recording and I'm still stuck here. I just want to get through the door. Funny, if I never saw that, I wouldn't be angry right now. It's just because I saw that image that now I can't control myself. Okay! Wow, you did it. Baby's adventure to become a better player is almost over. Just one final battle remains. Don't give up now. I'm scared. Please tell me this counts as a checkpoint. Boss. What am I supposed to do? Okay, good. But... They take multiple hits, don't they? Okay. I can at least relax now. But this is gonna be hard. But hey, it's a custom boss. Technically. 
It's still a Resonor, but it behaves a little differently. Oh, shoot. They attack fast. Let's see. Let's just focus on one of them right now. One. Hit. <laughs> one hit. Ow. It's probably three hits per. At least it should get easier with each and every one defeated. Why is it so slippery, though? It's very slippery, actually. Ugh, I can't focus on the one below me. Ow. <laughs> I can do this. Okay, I think it only takes two hits per... Yeah, it only takes two hits per. And again, for every one I destroy, it should technically get easier. Technically. I can do this. Oh man, that was way too... <sighs> I could have avoided that just by not jumping. Ah, I can do this. I know I can. Maybe if I didn't jump there. Okay. This this is very tricky to keep track of everything. Oh, oh, I didn't see that. Again, it's the ones at the bottom that I can't really gauge very well. I gotta stop doing that. No, please! Alright, guessing time. How long do you think it's gonna take me to beat this boss? Whoever wins... I don't know, I guess... Whoever wins... I'm trying to think of a fair reward. <laughs> a shout out, I guess? I don't know. <laughs> no, oh, why did I jump? I just panicked. I'm panicking at roughly the same moment every time. I fell in. Ah, oh, wait. Forget the shadow idea. It's too easy for people to cheat. It's not like this is a live stream or anything. Just one left. I can do this. <laughs> Why did I mess that up? That was easy and I messed it up. I am so ashamed. I did it. That is so easy and yet I'm messing it up. It's like the easiest part of the fight to get back on the platform. And yet, I can't do it. Ugh. Okay.
<laughs> Ouch! No! I got too impatient. What was that? No, please! I am so close! What? What? I want to win! I want to win! I really want to win! Please, I want to win! How come I lost all momentum to get back on the platform? Hey, look at that! I could possibly get rid of one right at the start of the fight? Well, I have to be good enough to do it. <laughs> that was lame. But then I seem to have trouble getting back on the platform, all because I'm bad at it! But I can do it, I'm sure of it. I just... Yeah, see there! <laughs> you stray bullet! I'm not unfamiliar to the concept of the stray bullet. Oh man. I messed up my movements there. Alright. See, now there's only three, and I am an idiot. Truly, I am. Why did I move so far there? Okay, don't rush into that one. That's just liable to get me. What the? It's like sometimes I start with a, some momentum already implemented or something. <sighs> this is. This is rough. No, I, I could have survived that. Okay, there's only two left. Now there's one left. Okay, we're just gonna wait for him to come around. And there we go! I, I won! I won the game- uh, There was a smiley face in the background. I only just noticed that. We did it! It's over! I baked baby Kaizo World! A Kaizo hack! My second one! Oh, Mario's grown up. What should I call you now? You are not a baby anymore. But that doesn't mean you are a Kaizo adult already. Oh, I know that. Keep practicing Kaizo, but don't ever forget to have fun. Also, never forget how to say my name correctly. You say it like this. No, we so. And yeah, I, I forgot to mention you. And Nexus for Learn to Kaizo. Here are some actual credits. So yeah, this was made by Noizo. For the most part, this was fun. I, and I feel like I learned quite a bit. Some frustration in the special world, however. Specifically the Yoshi level. You should have thought over that one a little more. But for the most part, I feel like this is a very beginner and friendly Kaizo hack, and yeah, there are some hard levels, but you gotta get used to that at some point. And for the most part, I thought these were done quite nicely, and it was a nice way to start bringing me into the little trolls at the end of a level. I didn't have to do anything past the gate, though, so there's still that kind of stuff, but I did it! This was overall fun, I enjoyed it, and if you wanna get into Kaizo? Maybe try the two that I played. I mean, Lord to Kaizo gets pretty tricky in the later parts, so... You could probably play that one up until roughly the first double shell jump, and it'll probably be enough. Either way, after you play through Lord to Kaizo, th this is a nice stepping stone. And you don't have to do the special world if you don't want to, because... Well, it is hard. Okay, I think that's going to be about all for the credits, so... I could probably end it here, so thank you guys very much for watching. 
I hope you have enjoyed this as much as I have, for the most part, enjoyed this. And until the next series of videos, this has been Tales from 109. Have a nice day.